I'm Peter with Pro-Life Unity and Pro-Life News.TV. I'm with Mike Barnett from American Life League. We're here at the uh, Marriott in Baltimore and this event this evening was to uh, encourage the bishops, the Catholic Church to get involved um, as far as the Eucharist and abortion, that kind of thing. Why don't you explain in detail, instead of me sputtering around with it, uh, what's involved and why you folks are out here this evening. We've seen a growth, especially as American Life League has, has pioneered an effort to encourage the bishops to defend the Eucharist in the enforcement of Canon 915, which is uh, the canon that says those obstinately pertaining in mortal sin are forbode from receiving the Eucharist, which is the body of Christ. And um, because it's the body of Christ and, and we've got Catholic political leaders that are leading others into sin by supporting abortion and supporting the murder of innocent babies. Um, it is the Catholic perspective that they obviously shouldn't, that because they can't handle their political power, it is dangerous for them to be receiving the Eucharist. It's, it's not bad for the Eucharist, it's the glorified body of God, but that it hurts their immortal soul to receive it when they're in a state of sin. So we've been motivating, encouraging, and trying to focus on um, and what is at present 16 bishops that have come out boldly stated that they will not distribute communion, the body of God, to those that are um, not in a state of grace, that, that, are, that are promoting abortion. And of course we have now Vice President Biden, he's a Catholic. Um, isn't that a challenge? We've got one of the men in the greatest offices. We've had Nancy Pelosi and others there and uh, of course Kennedy in the past, but we don't have any influence over him. But we do have over Biden. Is this message something that you think you'll hear? We've got um, nine members of the Supreme Court, one Speaker of the House, and one Vice President that are ca uh, not not all the members of the Supreme Court are Catholic. I believe five of them are. Um, and all uh, not all the members of the Supreme Court, but um, two of them and the Vice President and the Speaker of the House are all supporting abortion and are also all uh, receiving the Eucharist and it's rather tragic. We, we have bishops that are spiritual and moral leaders of this country um, not informing their, their followers, not informing their flock of political leaders. Well there was a uh as many of you know, there were a lot of Catholics who turned out to vote for Obama in this election. Um, I always say that vote for whatever candidate you want, but when it comes to moral issues, especially abortion, that should be a threshold issue, shouldn't it? I think right now we're looking at, you're, you're exactly right, it should be a threshold issue, but the pro-life movement is missed in a lot of ways. We've discussed everything, you know, it's a baby, it's dying, it's, it's, um, it's a human life, it's, um, it's bad for the mother. What has been lost is a focus upon the dignity of the human person, and because of that, we don't understand that if you don't respect the dignity of the human person, you have no right to hold office. And I think that if we refocused all of our efforts on the beauty of, per, of, of a person, of a human, then we could re-inspire people to want to defend life. Um, it, it's, it's, people, people want to defend animals, they want to defend lots of things that they, they, they think have value, but they've been taught that they have value. Mm -hmm. Well, one of the uh, things I'm sure you're aware of was Sean Hannity's interview with Father um, Eitenauer. Um, that was controversial. Controversial, and Sean, if you're watching out there, uh, a lot of us folks believe that you kind of stepped on Father Eitenauer. That wasn't very kind. You're talking about a man of the cloth, and um, he was treating him basically as someone that he could just kick around on his show. And I, I didn't appreciate that. I'm not Catholic, and I don't think a lot of Catholics appreciated that. Um, it was an important point that Father Eitenauer was making that you know, if the, if the Eucharist is as, as special as it is, the, the blood and the body of Christ, people who are supporting abortion, something that kills human beings, that's, his position was correct, wasn't it? Absolutely. Sean Hannity, uh, it's, it's sad to see somebody so poorly informed as a, as a leader and a speaker for the conservative movement. We've got great minds in the conservative movement. We've got Father Eitenhauer is a great example of, of an intellectual leader in the conservative movement, leader of, for life and leader of the Catholic Church. Um, and for Sean Hannity to use his, his quote-unquote cultural power and, and prowess to try to uh, offend and degrade a, a leader of the cloth, it's really tragic, especially when he's so wrong. And I, I really think this is an important issue in all of our churches, Protestant, Catholic, um, whatever you folks, even if you're not in a church, I mean, anywhere you're hanging around with your people, it's important for us who believe that abortion is the murder or the killing of a human being that we speak up in defense of those people, isn't it? Absolutely. I think that uh, if we, we've got at least 
uh, a, almost a majority of people in this country that respect and want to defend life, that are willing to vote pro-life, and we've got uh, quite a number of people, up to 30%, that are willing to vote single issue pro-life. If all those people went out daily and convinced one person that life was worth def defending and protecting, we wouldn't have an issue in a few years. We'd have, and we wouldn't have some of the issues that people worry about. We'd have respect for mothers, and we'd have respect for women, so we wouldn't have the rape cases that we do. And we'd have respect for mothers, so we wouldn't have the mothers that are st that are put in the positions that they do, by their parents or by their loved ones. And uh, you're, you're absolutely right. It's, it's critical that, that those that believe in life express it in every way possible, especially their daily lives, especially when it's most difficult to their co-workers. Yeah. And for you folks out there watching this, you're in your church and you're afraid of talking about it, step up. It's an important topic. You've got to speak up. The unborn don't have anybody else. The civil rights movement, they had, you know, the blacks came out, the whites came out in defense of them, and they said, this is wrong. We're the ones who have to do that for the unborn, aren't we? Absolutely. We've got a, uh, but we've got one good piece of news. Um, a friend of mine inside the USCCB has informed um, informed us that uh, the council will be coming out with one, a strong statement of concern and opposition of the of the coming administration and some of their policies, and two, we'll actually be launching a national campaign in, in um, defense of the Freedom of Abortion Choice Act. Hmm. So uh, I look forward to seeing exactly how those take shape, but the fact that the bishops are rallying should not only be hopeful for the Catholic Church, but also for the entire pro-life movement. All right. Well, I'd like to hear that. So how can people find out more about this? Uh, look tomorrow to, for a statement from the president of the USCCB, and uh, in, a, in about a few weeks for the for the national. I think it's it's starting with a postcard campaign in defense um, and attacking the freedom of quote unquote choice act. All right, that's American Life League ALL.org, right? And of course, there are other folks here from the American Life League. So go to the ALL.org website, check it out, get involved. It's up to us. Thank you, Mike. Thank you.